everybody. I'm Courtney Friel, and we are going face to face with Rick Springfield about his new memoir, Late Late at Night. Nice to see you. You are so honest in this book. And two of the recurring themes, sex and depression. Did you want to write about depression to help others? No. I think you just write to put it out there. And uh, I didn't know if people would look at it and go, whoa. Or it would help them. But as I was writing it, I was just trying to be honest and remember everything. Well, it definitely makes you more relatable, more human. Although I don't think as many people have as much of an opportunity to have as many sexcapades. As I you don't know. I, I was just saying. I mean, I'm not excusing it. But it's not the surprise that it possibly was. But I don't put it out there as titillation. I put it out as the things that I have been dealing with and fighting all my life. But how did your wife feel about you writing all these stories about well, she, having sex with other women? There's nothing in there that she doesn't know and we've been through it all. She's the most amazing person in the world and I think it's very clear that comes through in the book and the pain I feel for having caused her pain. Would you ever do a reality show? After the first Oprah show I got calls from reality TV and I would never do that to my family. I love my family too much. I would never put them up for sale on a reality show. Something else that's invasive out there and that has changed since you were first famous, the world of TMZ, for example. I don't live in a vacuum. I understand. I see what's happening to other people. The thing is, we're so hungry to know what the guy next door is doing. We think we're this rock, I am a rock. We're not. We're so desperate for connection that that's TMZ just feeds that. I don't like it, but I understand it. It is in the news about your DUI. Mm -hmm. Are you allowed to tell us anything? I have a lot to say, but I'm not allowed to talk about it, but I will. At times, I think I just like to go away to an island and grow vegetables for the rest of my life. Is it so much effort to kind of stay on the radar and keep getting roles and being in this industry? Is the fame addictive? The attraction is that things can turn on a dime, you know, and it's like magic. One song flipped it on its head and, and it all changed, and that's what draws people into this business. Are you sick of people referring to you only as the singer of Jesse's Girl? It's a little annoying, but I understand it. I don't have a big ego. I mean, in fact, I think I'm the reverse. I'm very proud of that song. I understand people connecting to that. If my plane ever goes down, I'm sure it'll be, you know, pop singer of Jesse's Girl. Well, I appreciated your honesty in Late Late at Night, and I'm sure others will. So you guys got to check out Late Late at Night with Rick Springfield. And thanks so much for coming in and talking with us. Thanks. And thank you for clicking in to fox411.com. Have a great day.